What's up, guys? Celtics win a pretty close game against the Nets. I don't want to be too critical, although it was frustrating because this is what you call a trap game. And, uh, you know, they just did whatever they had to win and they didn't really do much more than that. But the first quarter was awesome. And then the bench consistently throughout the game just was not good whatsoever. But down the stretch in the fourth quarter, they were able to keep most of their starters on the bench, limiting Kyrie Irving's minutes in Horford. And Marcus Morris really got it done in the fourth quarter. So despite our bench once again not being able to hit the side of a barn, just terrible shooting. Look at that. I don't know what the percentage is, this, guys, but three for 20, something like that from the field. Uh, but anyway, Marcus Morris got it done down the stretch. 21 points on only 12 shots, very much in the mold of a Gordon Hayward, right, with a little more height. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, Jason Tatum, 19 points. He was absolutely amazing and extremely efficient. Uh, so his three-point shooting going to go back up to around 50% or so. Uh, getting to the free throw line, you love that. Jalen Brown was pretty good too. Uh, our starting lineup was just amazing all around. Look at that, shooting like what, 65 70% from the field. Just a dream. So if we can do that against the uh, Warriors in two days, or tomorrow, t t two days, then uh, we're going to have a pretty good chance. But our bench is going to have to show up versus the Warriors if we are going to be able to beat that team and uh, stamp our claim to the to be the current best team in the NBA. A lot of power rankings have the Warriors as the number one ranked team, despite the Celtics having a better record right now. As I've said before, I think the Celtics have a good chance to be as good as the Warriors by the end of the year in the playoffs, especially if Gordon Hayward comes back. You know, and a guy like Gordon Hayward would really be a blessing to this bench unit. Um, but so I'm not saying the Celtics are better than the Warriors right now, but they could very well win that game in two days. And, uh, you know, with the best record in the NBA, you could argue that uh, they're just about as good, just about as good. I don't know who you'd rank as the number one team. Celtics have lost one less game. But uh, anyway, we'll find out in two days. We'll find out a lot, won't we, guys, how these teams match up. Jason Tatum with his superior length being able to handle uh, Kevin Durant, hopefully, a little bit, can test some of those shots. And again, they, sh they flash the uh, defensive leaders, defensive rating leaders in the NBA. And except for Anthony Tolliver, who was at number one from the Pistons, like two through ten, two through nine are all Celtics for the most part. So guys, let me know what you thought of the game. And uh, we got a real big one coming up Thursday on TNT. Peace.